Hi friends! Welcome to chapter 6 of James and the Giant Peach. Enjoy! Chapter 6 Sponge! Sponge! Come here at once and look at this! At what? It's a peach! Aunt Spiker was shouting. A what? A peach! Right up there on the highest branch! Can't you see it? I think you must be mistaken, my dear Spiker. That miserable tree never has any peaches on it. There's one on it now, Sponge! You look for yourself! You're teasing me, Spiker. You're making my mouth water on purpose when there's nothing to put into it. Why, that tree's never even had a blossom on it, let alone a peach. Right up on the highest branch, you say? I can't see a thing. Very funny. Ha, ha. Good gracious me! Well, I'll be blowed. There really is a peach up there. A nice big one, too, Aunt Spiker said. A beauty! A beauty! Aunt Sponge cried out. At this point, James slowly put down his chopper and turned and looked across at the two women who were standing underneath the peach tree. Something is about to happen, he told himself. Something peculiar is about to happen any moment. He hadn't the faintest idea what it might be, but he could feel it in his bones that something was going to happen soon. He could feel it in the air around him, in the sudden stillness that had fallen upon the garden. James tiptoed a little closer to the tree. The aunts were not talking now. They were just standing there, staring at the peach. There was not a sound anywhere, not even a breath of wind. And overhead, the sun blazed down upon them out of a deep blue sky. It looks ripe to me, Aunt Spiker said, breaking the silence. Then why don't we eat it? Aunt Sponge suggested, licking her thick lips. We can each have half. Hey, you, James, come over here at once and climb this tree. James came running over. I want you to pick that peach up there on the highest branch, Aunt Sponge went on. Can you see it? Yes, Auntie Sponge, I can see it. And don't you dare eat any of it yourself. Your Aunt Spiker and I are going to have it between us right here and now, half each. Get up with you. Up you go. James crossed over to the tree trunk. Stop, Aunt Spiker said quickly. Hold everything. She was staring up into the branches with her mouth wide open and her eyes bulging as though she had seen a ghost. Look, she said. Look, Sponge, look! What's the matter with you? Aunt Sponge demanded. It's growing, Aunt Spiker cried. It's getting bigger and bigger. What is? The peach, of course. You're joking. Well, look for yourself. But my dear Spiker, that's perfectly ridiculous. That's impossible. That's... 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 Now, wait just a minute. No. No. This can't be right. No. Ye yes, Great Scott, it really is growing! It's nearly twice as big already! Aunt Spiker shouted. It can't be true! It is true! 
It must be a miracle. Watch it! Watch it! I am watching it. Great heavens alive! Aunt Spiker yelled. I can actually see the thing bulging and swelling before my very eyes! And so ends chapter 6. Now, something peculiar does seem to be happening with the peach tree, doesn't it? Did you notice how what the author had hinted at previously in the last chapter is now coming true? So he's alleviated some of the suspense for us and created a sense of action and urgency as the peach continues to grow. Another thing you might notice is that in this chapter, all of the dialogue that happened didn't always include things like Aunt Spiker said or Aunt Sponge said. Sometimes the dialogue went very quickly from one character to the next. That is something that authors can do and it helps with the flow of the story. So remember, when you're reading, to pay attention to who might be speaking and the way that the author has written the words. A new speaker will usually be started with a new paragraph every time. Hopefully you enjoyed chapter six, and I look forward to reading chapter seven for you. Thank you for listening. Bye now.